What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you should be laying out your keywords match type wise and what to avoid if you have an agency running your Google Ads campaigns right now, how to save you money. Because most likely if they're running these types of keywords, they are wasting your money and you're probably paying way too much for a lead. So let's get into uh, exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So basically, this video is going to be about keywords, okay? Now, there's two sides to this coin, all right? There is how to choose the correct keywords, what they should look like, and there is understanding the match types you should be using of the keywords. So these are both equally as important. So first, we're going to tackle what type of keyword you should be going after. So if we go into our Junk Global Clients campaign, we'll do keywords, we'll sort by clicks, right? So scroll down here, we have some brand stuff mixed in with majority of what they're going after. All right, so the first part of this um, is your intent, right? You have to make sure you're getting your ads in the right, in front of the right people. And that all comes down to keyword intent. You wanna know why someone's searching this keyword. Obviously, if you look at any of these keywords, junk removal, furniture removal services, junk removal service, I know why someone is searching these keywords. It's very clear, right? So all we're gonna do is place our client's ads in front of the people who are searching for junk removal and our client's ads are talking about how they'll come pick up people's junk, right? Then if someone clicks the ad, it goes to a landing page where it says, hey, we can be on site today and pick your junk up. So the message match is straight across. It's very clear. That's how you win with Google ads. That's called high intent keywords, right? So these are all high intent keywords, junk removal near me prices, appliance removal company, right? Junk removal, Alexandria, Virginia, that's a geo ad group, junk removal near me. These are all high intent keywords. So what would an example of a low intent keyword be? All right, so for the junk space, let's think here, a low intent keyword could be something like city dump trash removal right so that's something that is going to have people looking for um like a city dump where they can dump off stuff not to have somebody come pick up their trap their uh junk from their house and pay to have people take it away so city city disposal city city junk removal that's a good one that's a very low intent keyword city trash schedule trash pickup schedule so those are examples of low intent keywords that's just for this niche there's you know it applies to any niche doesn't really matter but those are examples of low intent keywords where we're not really sure we have an idea of what they're why someone's searching that but it's not aligned with what the client what we're offering right so if it's not aligning perfectly then we're not going after it because it's only going to not convert and you're going to waste money on the intent because the intent is wrong it's not what we're offering so people are going to see our ad they're going to be like no i'm not going to click on that or believe it or not they will click on it and then they'll go to landing page and be like nope this isn't for me and bounce right off of it and then we just wasted you know $15, $20 of our client's money. So that's why intent is so important when it comes to keywords. So the next part is your keyword match types. And I'm gonna walk you through that right now. All right, guys, so for this next part, we're gonna go over the three different match types. There's broad match, phrase match, exact match. And I'm gonna show you exactly how they work and how, how and what you should be avoiding when using these. Because there are some pitfalls that if you're a newbie to Google ads, or you have an agency running your business's ads, if they are doing this wrong, you are wasting money. Let me show you. All right, so we're back inside the campaign here. We're gonna go into the keywords and let's start with exact match. So exact match is what you're seeing here in brackets, right? So you're telling Google junk removal is, uh, that's not a good one, let's do a better one, like something with longer tail. So junk removal near me, right? Or junk removal near me prices, I like that one. So we're telling Google, all right, listen, I want my ad to trigger anytime someone types into Google junk removal near me prices, and I want only that. So get me as close to only that as possible. That's what exact match is. It's not 100%, so not every click is gonna be from this keyword but it'll be from something if it's not from this keyword it's gonna be something from something very very close to it they used to be exactly this but they've kind of laxed on that over the last two years so it's pretty damn close so if we go to if we check the keyword and we go to search terms we're actually gonna look at what people typed in to Google that triggered our ad now Google's not gonna show all of them but pretty close so if we go to clicks here so these are impressions this is where I trigger so cost of junk removal bidding on that exact match keyword junk removal near me prices our ad still showed for cost of junk removal got junk prices near me that was actually a click how much do junk removal companies charge how much does a junk removal cost so it's not exact <laughs> it's uh it's pretty damn close but it's not exact anymore you can see here it's right in your face how much is junk removal service so it's relevant it's very relevant to our exact match keyword for the most part 
but um, it's not exact match anymore. So that's what you got to keep in mind. And that's why if you're running your keywords, finding high intent is only half the battle. If you get the match types wrong, you're screwed because you're going to get tons of irrelevant traffic. So exact match is bringing in pretty damn close. I say nine out of 10 to what the main keyword is that we're going after. It's all about prices and junk removal quotes and rates. So, I mean, this is all pretty relevant. So Google's saying, all right, these are relevant. I'm going to show these two. But if we go back, go into the phrase match next. So that's exact match. It's you're telling Google, you know, this is what I want. And it's going to show what they think is extremely close to this, if not all of this. Right. So phrase match is a little more loose. You're saying Google. I want to show my ads for junk removal service phrase match. So phrase match is saying, all right, Google in this, you're letting Google say like, all right, well, junk removal service could be near me or close by or something like that. Will your ad will trigger for that kind of stuff. It, it adds extensions off, off of the main keyword essentially. So if we click that and check those search terms out, you'll see here. All right. Well, 1-800 junk. So that's a competitor, but these guys want to bid on those competitor terms. As long as you're not showing that their brand in your ad, you're fine. Construction debris removal services, demo and hauling near me, disposal services, like that's not a good keyword. Here's other brand ones that we gotta get rid of. Electronic junk pickup, Holloway, Colorado Springs. So Holloway service with purchase. So there's a lot of irrelevant stuff coming from, from phrase match. I mean, this is crazy. Now, granted, these are not all clicks, guys. These are impressions, right? Only the clicks are in this column right here. So if we sort by clicks, we'll see what actually people clicked on from that keyword. Junk removal service phrase match. Electronic junk pickup, junk metal removal near me, junk refrigerator pickup, same day junk pickup. So not horribly irrelevant. They're all pretty relevant, actually. But what's more scary is what our ads still triggered for that no one clicked on, which are the impressions down here. So... You know, Elite Disposal is another brand. Disposal Services, we have no idea the intent behind the Disposal Services keyword. That's not a good keyword. So that's something that will be added to our negative list. Haul it, I mean, I don't know, that could mean a million different things. So that would be added to the negative keyword list as well. Ludwig's Jump, <laughs> Junk, and on and on. You Call, We Haul, these are all brands It would all be negative. Waste Management Disposal, that's a terrible keyword. That's waste management. That's a trash pickup company. So this is why you got to be careful with your keywords because the match types are not, they're not as dialed in as you would think they are with Google. Exact match used to be, but they got real lax. So now you've seen exact match. You've seen phrase match. I don't have any broad running this campaign only because it's so horrible that we just don't even run it anymore. Really? It's unless it's in a campaign that we've had on. Oh, actually we got one right here, but it's not getting any clicks. So let's go to that. It shouldn't even be in here. Get rid of junk, right? That's the keyword. It's broad match. Remove old furniture from home. Donate damaged furniture. 1-800 got junk. Got junk prices. So all it's all over the spectrum. There's basically with exact and phrase match, it's like going to a bowling alley and you have bumpers in, right? So it can't get too crazy. Broad match, there is no bumpers. And if you roll your bowling ball, it could go 10 lanes down the, down the bowling alley. That's the best way I can describe it. Don't use broad match. And I'm actually turning this off. This Our team must have put this on. I don't know why this is on. You sort by broad match. There's actually a few of them on. I'm going to beat these guys. But yeah, so we should not be running broad match. You definitely don't want to run it because it's going to keep your um, your campaigns are going to be off the rails. There's just no, there's no guidelines. Or they'll bid on, they'll show your ad for the most random things if you're running broad match. So keep that in mind when you guys are running your campaigns. If you have an agency managing your Google ads campaign, make sure that they do not have broad match turned on unless they know what they're doing. That's really important. Otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of um, shitty traffic. I don't know why they turned these on. This must have been new because there's no traffic to them over the last 30 days. But now I got to go beat somebody. All right, guys, I got a jet. I will uh, upload this and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.